Guys, it's like painful. I don't know how to start my videos anymore. Well, I know how I want to start my videos, but I just naturally say, hey lovelies, so today, but I don't really say lovelies that much anymore. So I always call you guys sweets, so I wanna say, hey sweets, it's Emily from Painful Hilarity. So today, so just pretend like I said that at the beginning of the video. This is very awkward for me, and I miss you guys like crazy. So I was gonna do a wantable unboxing, but then I was like, I have so much to talk to you guys about. Like I have wantable unboxings and I have a video that Leanne and I did. But I just wanted to chat with you and catch you up because I don't know, it's been like two days, but it seems like it's been a month and like so much has happened. No, it's like been it's been like three days, okay? This is stressful for me. I talk to you guys every single day for a year. This is hard. Okay, I miss you guys and I miss talking to you guys. So, one of the coolest things that happened is I hung out with Leanne, who, if you have seen her in the comment box, comments all the time. We've been friends here on YouTube just to find out that in Florida, we live like 10 minutes apart. So, that's crazy. And so, um... We finally got to hang out, like, the second, maybe? I don't remember. And we did so much fun stuff. We, she came and picked me up, and we went to Ulta, because she wanted to look at the new um, Real, Techni Real Techniques metals brushes. And I just watched a video on Pixie Boo, them talking about it. And so I was like, why don't we go together? So we went there and I picked up a few things. We looked at the brushes. They only had a couple of them. They were okay. They weren't as soft as I thought they were going to be. But anywho, then we just kind of like walked around and talked. And then when we left, we went to eat at Ruby Tuesday, which was so yummy. Yeah, I got like something that I never, ever order out. But for some reason, it just looked so good to me. And um, so we ate and we talked and we talked and we ate and we ate and we talked and we ate and we, ate and we talked. And then we ended up looking for Forever 21. And I just happened to stroll by Victoria's Secret. And so I had to go inside because you just have to. And um, they're having sale on pink pajamas and everything and uh, Victoria's Secret bras. So um, I have a very um, hard to find bra size. And Victoria's Secret are my absolute favorite bras. They are the only ones that fit me correctly and actually fit me. And so they were having like a huge sale. Like I think both bras that I got were like 50% off, which is insane. Cause usually my bras are like $65 and they usually only have like one, maybe two in the entire store. So, um, I got two bras and I picked up my sister-in-law's present for her birthday. Cause it's the 10th. Tomorrow is my best friend Monica's birthday. I'm so excited. Hey, Monica, happy birthday. And then the next day is my best friend Lindsay's birthday. And I haven't even told you about that whole situation because I sent her her present the 22nd of December. Somehow they said that it had the wrong address on it. I'm positive I put the right address. But I think that my mom put, like, the paper that you get when you mail it, the sticker. I think she put it around the box, and they probably couldn't scan it. I don't know because the zip code and name are right, and that's, like, all they really need. But anyways, my hair is, like, dripping down because I just took a bath. So anyways, then with Lee, oh, so anyways, with that package, it was upsetting because it was her birthday slash, like, Christmas present, kind of, like, in one. I mean, there were a couple different presents in there, but anyway, so now it's, like, being shipped back here, but for some reason, it's in Virginia right now. I'm guessing it's just in some UPS truck, and they're, like, going around, but I just hope that it doesn't break because it's been, like, jostled around, like, crazy, and 
I don't know what to do about it. But anyways, I'm going to open it up and look and make sure that everything's okay and whatnot. So, back to Leanne. So, we went out to eat and then I don't think we did anything else. Then we came back to my house and we did videos for you guys of opening each other's presents. And let me just tell you, they're really funny videos. And I'm really excited about them. Mine is going to be great to edit because mine is not forever long because I got her an appropriate amount of presents and she did not. Let's just put it that way. And um, so she's in trouble and you'll see when she, I don't know when she's going to edit that video or how long it's going to take her to edit that video because it was legit like so long <laughs> and so many pauses because I opened like when I open presents, I'm not like, oh, thank you, and then I just, like, put it aside. Like, I like to open it, and sometimes I swatch stuff, and, like, I'm just, like, one of those annoying people. I don't know why I didn't think, like, oh, we're videotaping this. You should probably, like, hurry along a little bit, but um, we pretty much just were, like, exchanging gifts and having fun, and, like, the cameras were rolling while that was happening, so that's why it's kind of really fun, but... Um, so I'm excited about that, so you guys will actually see Leanne and I together, and it'll actually be like a legit, um, collaboration, where like, two YouTubers come together. Um, ma, 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 ma. oh, and then the other thing I wanted to ask you guys is, um, I don't know if you guys have seen my videos where I do this or my blog posts, but... I do these videos that were that are like how my illness turned me into a five-year-old and I do go do these like funny kind of like things that like you talk about poop more than like any doctor in an ER or something like that you know and um and then I did one that like how my illness turned me into an 80 year old and that one's like really easy you know like I could probably use a walker but and that whatever so, um, the next one I want to do is kind of like that, like, Jeff Foxworthy, like, you're a redneck, you know you're a redneck if. I want to be like, if you know you're chronically ill if. And I have, like, quite a good list going, but in the comments down below, answer this beginning part. You know you're chronically ill if dot dot dot. And, like, uh, what was the example that... I just had an example that I was like, that wasn't on the list, and I was like, oh, you could say that one. <sighs> but anyways, oh, because it has to do with Leanne. So I texted Leanne the day after we hung out, <laughs> and I said, Leanne, do you remember me hitting my head on anything? <laughs> and the thing is, is that I felt like hung over. I mean, it's not the same feeling, like I didn't. Well, I did feel like I was going to throw up, actually. But, like, I didn't, we didn't drink at all. <laughs> but I felt like, you know, you get fibro hungover. And, like, I felt so hungover because we did so much stuff. And I'm just, like, not being used to being that active right now because I was ill, you know, like, emergency-wise. And then ill just, like, fibro-wise. And then we did, like, a lot of stuff in one day totally worth it, like, wouldn't take it back, but I was really sick, and I was just like, maybe I hit my head on her car, or like, but I would have said something, like, I'm not one of those people that, like, hits my head, and it's just like, uh, like, I'm like, oh, what the crap, like, because like, I just, like, think things like that are funny, but right here, you can actually, like, see it while I'm talking, but I have kind of, like, a goose egg on my head, and I have no recollection of anything going wrong with my head but it really feels like like when you like pick something off the ground and you knock your head on the coffee table or something that's what it feels like but I have no idea what's wrong with it so that's like one of those things that like if you're chronically ill that happens to you or if you're drunk or if you binge drink or if you're in college but you know what I'm saying I don't drink so that's like something that only chronically ill people like you didn't drink you didn't take crazy amounts of drugs or any illegal drugs and you wake up with a big bump on your head the next day and ask your friends if you did anything to your head. Um, 
or your friends know how to order for you better than you do. Like my friend Alicia always knows what I want. Like I'm always like I get to a restaurant and I like ask Lindsay or Alicia and I'm like, what do I like here? Like that was another thing that was like how you turn into a five year old. But if you could leave in the comments down below the end of that, that would be so awesome to see what you guys come up with. And you can do multiple ones and um Hopefully I'll add some of them to that video that I do, which will be like a legit video, which is like what I want to do with my channel because I want to like give you guys really great content and like edit it and wear makeup and, but that's just a dream. But I will do that. I am going to do more of those, hopefully, or just maybe less ones where I'm like, hey guys, I'm sick today. Have a good day, you know, like those two minute videos because you guys seem to really like the long catch up chitty chatty ones. You like my unboxings and then you guys like my edited videos. Actually, you guys like my edited videos least, but whatever. Um, and you guys have been doing a lot of requests for edited video type videos. And I don't know if you guys know what that means, but like, um, I know Lori and a couple other people have asked about brushes and like I really want to do like basic brushes that you need if you're just starting out because I think that's really difficult and I know even for me being a makeup artist and having a bazillion brushes I still am missing some so I'll buy like an entire collection of like elf brushes thinking like oh Maybe I'll just like move some of them in and I end up not liking, I, th I think I ended up liking maybe like two of like, I don't know, 24 piece set. And so I just want to help out and like tell you guys what you guys really need and what's worth paying money for and what's really not because there are brushes that you can just go get from e.l.f. and they'll be perfectly fine. Um, and then you guys really liked my beginner's makeup video and I did that a long time ago before I knew how to really edit that much and it's a really long video and I can't even stand watching it. So, um, and I had no idea what I was going to do before I did it. So I'll probably do another like beginner Mac, um, makeup look or beginner look. Um, but yeah, you guys let me know. Like, I don't know why I didn't ask you guys, like, what you guys want me to do. Like, why did, like, pfft. I think, like, because I'm always, like, I have to make the decision and, like, I put everything on my own shoulders. I know you guys don't know this about me. <laughs> Newsflash. I put everything on my own shoulders. <laughs> oh, my gosh. You guys are laughing. The people that know me and have watched my channel are laughing. People new to my channel. You'll get it if you keep watching and subscribe. You'll get it. Um, so, what do you guys want to see from this channel? I mean, you guys don't have to do like 50,000 comments, but um, if you aren't ill or if you don't feel like writing one of those, the answer to my, you know you're chronically ill if, um, things comment what kind of videos you want me to do like maybe you guys just like these videos I'd love doing these videos so that would be like high on my list of like things I would want to do in life because I love talking to you guys and just like chit chatting and not having to edit anything you guys see an uncensored just me in the raw uh, just doing my thing I think I'm being annoying but I don't, that's just a matter of opinion. Um, I'm getting very close to 300 subscribers, even though it was just the holidays and I've sent out so many gifts. I will, of course, do a giveaway because I just can't help myself. I just can't help myself. I love you guys so much. And whenever we hit, because you guys tell me when this happens. Like someone just told me, like, you're getting close to 300. And I was like, what? And I remember like someone telling me, you're, you're really close to 50 subscribers. And I was just like, what? So, um, yeah, so you guys get really excited because we did this together and it's a community and like we've all built this. So when I hit 300, 
300 subscribers, I will do a giveaway, and there's going to be actually some really good stuff in this giveaway because I've already started. Because, I, you know, I've already, well, let's see. I, don't, I didn't know I was going to hit 300 subscribers, but it would have been something else. Like, I would have done another Q&A and done a giveaway, you know? Like, what what can one do? I'm just going to give a giveaway. I'm going to come up with some reason to. So, uh, that will be happening. Yeah, so I'm very curious to see what type of videos you guys like. You know, do you like the chit chat videos? Do you like the health update videos? Do you like the informative videos? Because that's actually one of my most popular videos. But I don't know if that's actually what my subscribers watch or if just people searching for things. My Lyrica vs. Neurotin video, which I am going to do actually redo that video. Do you guys like hair videos, makeup videos? Do you like, um, do you guys want tips and tricks? Um, that is really hard to say with a denture, <laughs> just so you guys know. Um, tips and tricks. Um, do you guys want a room tour? Do you guys, I don't know. What do you guys want? I am up for suggestions for pretty much anything. Do you guys want me to answer more questions? Um, I don't know. I don't know what you guys want. So just let me know. But I hope you guys are having a pain free, stress free day. I love you guys so much. And I'm sending out X double O's. And I will talk to you soon. That's going to be still a really hard ending for me because I usually say. As always, I'll talk to you guys tomorrow, or like maybe I'll say hopefully, but that's about it. But I'll talk to you guys soon. I love you so much. Mwah!